I just heard through the grapevine, if you're a Disney fan, um, I'm a season ticket holder. I'm not like a giant, you know, Disney person, but I do like to go and, uh, you know, hang out with the kids and whatever. But uh, I heard through the grapevine that at Epcot, every, I mean, there's a giant thing being built. I don't know what that is, but <clears throat> there's also uh, plans very soon to demolish completely the seas and the land. Um, you know, two kind of staples of Epcot. So if you're uh, into that and uh, or had never been and want to, you should probably go see that soon because uh, I've heard that in the next, you know, I don't know how what the timetable is, but they're going to completely bulldoze it. They have not, um, you know, in the past they've kind of reused stuff and whatever, but I think it's going to just be completely raised and uh, they're going to start over with something else. I don't know what's going there. Um, there's a lot of Star Wars stuff going on everywhere. Maybe it's that, but anyway, Seas in the Land are done, donezo, um, pretty soon. So if you're uh, into that, go, you know, take a look. They're not bad. That Soarin' ride isn't, you know, horrible. Um, you know, very educational kind of stuff, but you know, very dated. I like a lot of Alep a lot of uh, Epcot stuff. Um, you know, it's time for a refresh. I don't really blame them for the most part. I just hope it's something that, you know, educational and useful. Uh, you know, fun also, but I mean, you know, Epcot's always been a science and innovation kind of place, and uh, I'd like to see more of that. So, anyway, for what it's worth, the seas and the land at Epcot, Dunzo. Have a good day.